to my channel. Today we are working on a programming challenge that a viewer of mine requested. Uh, and that uh, programming challenge is a, is a Python uh, program. And we have to create a, a coffee shop uh, program that would calculate a, a coffee shop a receipt for a customer. Uh, so we have to ask the user uh, a coffee type, the type of coffee that they want, and we have to calculate, we have to also ask the quantity, and then calculate the total of that, of the, of the coffee. So first thing would be, I created a, a main uh, class, a main file, uh, a Python file, I'm using uh, PyCharm, and um, inside the file, we want to uh, create a dictionary that would that will hold all the prices for these four types of um, coffee: black coffee, espresso, latte, and cappuccino. The first one, let's say, is two dollars. The second one, let's say, is three fifteen. Third is is four dollars, and fourth would be four ninety nine. So these are the prices for the coffee. Then um, we will create. A Python class we'll call coffee shop this class will have a global field called um, we'll call it data data would be a dictionary Then we will create uh, two methods inside this class. The first method is, is called uh, prompt user. So we're gonna prompt the user for their name. You will ask their name and accept it in this variable. And we will ask the, uh, the coffee uh, order and um, also we want to ask the quantity of them uh, quantity quantity then it will say input So after that, uh, we have to calculate the um, the type of uh, of coffee, you know, and the type of coffee will be stored in the order because we will show the menu here, and the person would give their choice one through four so we have to check here um, if order is equal to one meaning the order is black coffee then we have to calculate the um, the total so we say total equal the order, not order, uh, we'll say coffee. You have to use the, you have to use this, uh, this dictionary to find out the price of, of black coffee. 
prices and time is quantity and um, after that we will store it in the in this dictionary after after we calculate the quantity of them so we'll say data name equal name data equal uh, type we'll call a uh, black coffee and uh, we will say uh, total Uh, we have to say math say st string math dot floor uh, total the reason I'm using math.floor is because I want to round down um, the, the total instead of getting uh, a lot of uh, decimal numbers. So all we have to do is just uh, copy this. And we will change the if statement to else if and we'll change order is equal to two so if order is equal to two I also forgot to add in the first order is we have to give the key which is one this is the dictionary and this is the key which is one we want we are only interested in the first one in this instance which is black a coffee and the second one we are interested in the second um, price and um, we also want to change here to espresso and nothing else would be changed so just copy again so say order is equal to 3 and price prices would be equal to the index tree and here would be latte and uh, we will copy paste one more time and then we will change order is equal to four and uh, I can't spell for this word so I have to copy it from here cappuccino and we have to change the index of prices to 4 and lastly for this method we have to return the dictionary uh, called data and um, after this uh, method you will create another uh, method called um, receipt 
this will take uh, the prompt user method and uh, all we have to do is we'll say receipt for customer and uh, we will get the name from the method that we passed we'll say prompt user and it will be name and here would be uh, type prompt user equal type and um, here would be price or total no total total equal prompt user total so you're gonna print it all the information here Uh, type total then we will add another new line So that is it for this uh, class. So here outside the class we will instantiate it. We we'll call coffee shop and we will call the the receipt method. The receipt method will take a prompt uh, use uh, the prompt method also so i think uh, that's that's it let's run the program Here they say, welcome to our coffee shop, what's your name? So we're gonna say Mike, and here's the menu. Let's say we want um, black coffee. The quantity, let's say five. Receipt uh, for customer, name Mike, coffee type, black coffee and the total is ten dollars since we we um we wanted five black coffees and one coffee is two dollars five times two is um is ten let's run it again and let's say mike uh two uh let's say we want 20 uh, of them uh, customer name Mike espresso the coffee type and the total is 63 20 uh, time is time is 315 I think is uh, 63 so I think we we accomplished what the user wanted except we have to uh, you have to ask the user if he wants to uh, play again right so we're gonna say do you want to calculate 
for another customer. So we say choice uh, equal input and you will say if if a choice is not equal to no then we will all we have to do in order to play it again we'll just copy this and we'll paste it here else if the person uh, writes any other thing then we will exit the entire program exit zero so let's run it again what's your name Mike let's say uh, I want four the quantity is two you know here it says do you want to uh, calculate for another customer so you can say yes you know it, it repeats the entire uh, program again so we say James this time three quantity 10 and um, here is is forty dollars it didn't ask again because we haven't used the a while loop if you want to run um, the program infinitely then you have to use a while loop which is easy uh, so I think uh, that's uh, it uh, for this I hope uh, I hope uh, for the person who requested this find it useful if you want the code uh, please uh, comment I will paste it on reddit or github uh, so you can you, you can copy it uh, thank you for watching and um, I will see you next time